Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm in the back seat of I still get AirPods. a cop car. I'm in the back seat of a cop car. Wait. Cop car? <laughs> Did cops ever use chargers for cop cars before? They still use chargers. Chargers are cop cars. Gabby? Gabby? I think we did a bad job. We bought her a black car, like least visible car. We bought her a cop car. She could just hide. She yeah. could literally get in so much trouble with this car. And like I told you guys before, there have been many times where we've been just driving down the highway and another like a sports car, like an actually really nice sports car, will come up beside us, see Gabby's car, and then try and get us to race them. Sam, you did a bad job letting her choose. I uh, know. We got should. A pig book? It's a pig book. Tells us a lot about Gabby, the kind of car. The kind of car you ride and drive tells you so much about you. See, it's a pig. Yeah, Sophie, I'm talking. Say it again. It's a pig book with a pig bookmark. Oh, and that's actually cute. You're so smart. I know. Sophie's totally into crafting and doing that kind of stuff. Sam is good at crafting. My whole family, except for me, is good at crafting and renovating and all that stuff. I'm the worst at it. Um, we are headed into town. Gabby is driving. She's driving her car. We noticed that um, she drives every time. The rear. We notice that she drives every time she goes someplace with Sam, and Sam always drives his truck, and she wants to learn to drive her car. So we're trying to drive the car more often so that she gets more valuable experience. I still think she should have chosen a truck because we have horses, and one day when Sam's not able to pull us, we need somebody to do it. She knows how to drive the truck. Yeah, no, she does. The car's easier to drive after I drive the truck. Is it? Yeah. The car's easier to drive, she said, after she's driven the truck. The problem with her car is that it's got that kind of steering. If you move it one little tiny half an inch to the right, it like swerves to the right like you like you've it's a racing car. Yeah, it's a racing car. It's like that thing will do donuts if she's not careful. <laughs> she would do that. Anyway, today this morning we are headed to the dollar store to get some stuff so I can wrap up everything that I want to do to my first aid kit. I talked to a friend this morning. She gave me some really good ideas on organization. I should check my comments because I asked you guys to give me organization ideas. I think I did. I don't, I may have cut that part out. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to check and see what you guys suggest. And I have some ideas already. So hopefully that will work out well for us. Um, also, uh, update about Sophie's Western riding. It's done. She's finished. Just joking. <laughs> she can't go this week because of the rain, the torrential rain. We have rain for six days, you guys. It's not raining currently, but it's supposed to rain soon. Oh, this big, huge truck scared me. Anyway, um, her lesson got canceled for the whole entire week because it's supposed to rain for the whole entire week. So she, she rides again next week, unfortunately. One last thing that I wanted to say is that I'm the kind of driver that will only drive where I feel comfortable. I don't like to drive where I don't know where I'm going, where I have to try and make choices without being able to plan it out in my head first. That's just the kind of person that I am. And I don't want Gabby to be like that. I want her to be confident and feel strong about driving and be able to drive anywhere. So she's gonna take a course like I told you about. We are trying to expose her to as many different experiences now while she first starts driving so that she gets that kind of confidence and that she'll, she feels good. When it's your time to get a car, when it's your turn to get a car, what kind are you getting? A white Jeep. If we let you pick what kind of car you can get, what are you getting? A white Jeep. So Gabby wants a black Charger, Sophie wants a white Jeep. Totally suit their personalities. And they have multiple sizes. I should have made notes on what I needed because I have no idea what I need. So if it's, Gabby's looking for a duster to dust her room. I'm gonna go look at markers, don't leave. All right. Okay, but wait, 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 Sophie. Oh, that's adorable. It's a bottle opener keychain. Oh. <laughs> you think Kate's going to drink? Yeah. Okay. So look at Sophie, do you think I have like enough? I bought a bunch of these. I don't know what I'm going to use them for exactly, but I'm going to start with this. Okay. So I found this makeup organizer, which I really like a lot better. I think we need one of these. My dog is all money again. I just walked through the grass. I didn't realize there was this low laying area that was a flood and she ran with me. All right, so today's video is gonna start in the horse trailer. 
Well, you're basically starting at Ed's head the whole first try. So. All right. I have to brush my hair. I left my saddle in here. I'm so anxious for being able to ride, you guys. I'm literally waiting for so many things. Like, we have so many things that we're planning to do, but we can't do them in bad weather. It's annoying. Anyway, we have a lot of stuff in the trailer. Oh my gosh, why is this blanket here? Whose is this? Mine. Can we bring it in the house? In the house, no. In the, in the barn? Yes. Candy. Ew. Sophie and I have not been eating candy for so long. We miss it. I'm gonna have to hide this. Sophie says she won't eat it because it's a year old. I'm like, oh it? well. Give it to me, come on. <laughs> Pass it over. Are you taking it from me? Throw it away. All right, so. I'm getting it throw it away. Someone messaged, whoa. Someone messaged and said that we should have a clean bucket always um, to use in case of emergency. I'm excited because I found one. I found some duct tape. So I found Gabby's thin line pad in here and it is wet. So I'm gonna take it in and wash it. Through the course of trying to find a saddle to fit Sophie's last lease horse, oh, this is Gracie's, I, I was able to learn the value of having a, a shimmable pad. I know that I have stuff in here that I need, but I never wanna come up here because it's so, I never want to come up here because it's so awkward and I can never fit. Oh, we also have this shock absorbing saddle gel pad that we got that I love and I want to be able to use. We left so many things in here that I don't even know what we have. But it's time to clean out the trailer and figure out where all of our stuff is. I have another bucket back there and then I also have our trailering boots, which I need but can't reach. Found another one of our flags, which I'm excited to use this summer. Sophie's dressage whip so that she doesn't have to use mine all the time. So the reason that we don't always clean out this bucket, oh, this is an antioxidant muscle protector. We, our chiropractor told us before to give it to Chino and we did, but we have half a bucket left. This is our fly spray that I use. It's that stuff that I bought that was like a hundred bucks and you're supposed to wipe it on. And wiping it on is awful. It just makes a mess of you, makes a mess of the horse, but it works. My mane and tail brush. Some of the stuff that's in this horse trailer belongs to Sam. It's stuff that he uses to keep everything in good repair. But this, whoa, is ours. And I wanna take it into the barn. Actually, I should leave it in the trailer. So this is something that we got a long time ago and I don't know if I showed you guys, we've never used it and I'm gonna tell you why. Oh, hi, Ellie. <laughs> hi, she has pigtails today. <laughs> So this is a tough one, no knot picket line kit. So basically it's what you would take on a trail or if you went camping and you could attach it to two trees and you attach it to two trees and you can tie your horses up there. It comes with all the hardware. It comes with everything you need. It has instructions, but it must have gotten wet because there's a little bit of mold on stuff. I'm gonna have to wash all this. But anyway, I was so excited to have this because I envisioned a long, long ago, like years ago, I envisioned us going for trail rides. So I, env I envisioned oh us going. Oh my God, it is heavy. No, 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 not the bucket. Just those three things. <laughs> I would never ask you to carry that. That's all your dad's stuff. Um, uh, once upon a time, I envisioned us going on long trail rides with like our friends and then um, putting up this kit and tying our horses to it and having lunch or having a fire. And then I realized that thing is so heavy. How do you take it on a trail? You don't take it on a trail. You take it if you go camping someplace so that you can have like a ready-made line to tie your horses to. But yeah, we don't do that. We haven't done that. I also need to bring in this stuff. Oh my gosh. We're literally trying to clean out the barn and we're just filling it up. Looks like your pony got dirty. I also have been missing this long lead rope. I've been wanting it and it was in the trailer. Ellie, get your butt in here. Leave Molly alone. So these are all the containers that I got today. I got two of these bigger ones and I got some scissors. So I'm going to be able to organize this a little bit better. I'll show you guys in a few minutes. I got this actually, yeah. I'll show you guys in a few minutes what I do. So I found a new home. I'll show you guys. I found a new home for, I cleaned up this table-ish. <laughs> 
found a new home for the first aid kit. I'm in love with it. I still have to label everything and it's not finished yet. Uh, this is what it looks like in the top. I have like little containers. I'm gonna put labels on these. Obviously I need a more containers than this because I wanted to be able to separate things better. Like these are all of our needles. These are all of our creams. These are all of our dressing stuff. And these are all of our syringes and some medicines. And I bought some new scissors. So then in drawer two, I have like some duct tape, um, our vet wrap, like all this stuff. And then in the bottom, I have like that poultice and my wraps. I have a thing of hand sanitizer outside of it. So that's what I have there. Obviously I have more stuff to buy. And then over here, I have some more things. Like we have our Epsom salts. We have our sharps container at the back there in case like we use a needle or something. I have my coconut oil. I have a bunch of supplements. And then over here I have a bunch of supplements. So that's what it looks like for now. That's what it's gonna stay like for this summer. I have fans over here that I like to put up in summertime in case it gets really hot in here. Uh, this bucket over here has got all of our horse treats in it. These are our extra buckets. These are our buckets that we use, our cat food. I have a bucket here and I don't know what it is. I wanna fill this with salt and then put it over here because people are saying like you need to have salt on hand so you can have like salt water uh, to flush wounds. I also have a pen because I think pens are important. So um, about the saline solution, somebody mentioned it today and said like you use salt for saline solution to make your own like salt rinse. And the lady at the course had this amazing idea. She got saline solution and she filled a garden weed thing. You know those, I'm gonna put a picture here, those jugs that you pump and that has a little sprayer. And she said that if you fill that with salt water or saline solution, it is the best thing as long as it's brand new, clean and never been used for any pesticides. Um, it is the best thing for cleaning out wounds because it's gentle like obviously it doesn't have the force behind it that would push bacteria into a wound especially if you start from the top and you spray it down you can control the nozzle spray and you can flush a wound with that so i'm gonna get one of those it's gonna go in here too <sighs> i don't know if we're getting rid of stuff or we're collecting stuff at this point gabby taste this is it salt i think it's i think it's magnesium Taste it. No. Come on, taste it. Sophie, come taste this. Taste what? Looks like it's going bad at the bottom anyway, so I'm gonna taste dump what? it. See if this is salt. Okay, we know. But I also have like a whole, oh, that's the magnesium right there. That is the magnesium. And that's the salt. So I'm gonna dump this clean it, put better salt in it, and then we're gonna put this over here as well so that we can have salt in our, or close to our first aid kit. One step closer, you guys, one step closer. We're getting there. This little area is kind of organized. I have stuff that I need to throw away, but it's hard for me to throw away. Like, what if we need chalk? I should donate this to the barn because they use a chalkboard there. They use colored chalk. Oh. Well, anyway, I have stuff here that I want to get rid of, but I'm getting organized. I want to clean out this thing, wash the whole thing, and figure out I can put, like, stuff in here. Like, I could put all of our pole wraps in here. I don't know. Do you guys want to know an important lesson? Tell us, Sophie. Don't let Gabby touch anything. Yeah, don't let Gabby touch your stuff. She breaks it. See, this is she just don't broke that. That was anything. Wait, Does can I kick it now? No, don't kick it. So, duct tape. No, we're not gonna duct tape <laughs> yes, it. No. Tape. So this is the thing that we use for small animals when we <laughs> transport them. Sam made this like a lot of years ago. And <laughs> look, Gabby did that. Stop it. And we did, it? just because it's small enough that um, we can take like a chicken or whatever we need to take. And then we have this lid that can go on top of it and keep them contained and it doesn't just pop, it doesn't just pop up. My so um, we're getting rid of some chickens tomorrow and I was gonna take them in this. <laughs> and then I asked Gabby to put all of the stuff I have to take up to the house to have it washed into here. And when she went to move forward, she kicked it by mistake. But look at the whole thing is breaking. So oh yeah, see, in my defense. It's, yeah, she it's gotten brittle. Me. Can I break it? Stop it. No, you're carrying that up to the house. Okay, so I am done for now. Uh, just little bits each day. Uh, I want to groom my horse. 
I try and groom her at least three times a week right now while we're not riding much. I love reading all of your guys' comments today like from what you guys, about what you guys put in your uh, for fake kits. I loved it. I've been loving this little community that we have right now. You guys know that we've had a lot of people on the past that have not always been kind. Anyway, I've appreciated all the kindness. It's been amazing. Oh my gosh, our field is filled with mud, you guys. It's awful. This is this mud is horrible. This rain is absolutely horrible. I can't even believe it. Our horses are all in the backfield because it's the driest place. Well, they could be in the arena, but they're not. Okay, so you guys remember we got these shedding blades for Easter from Sam. And I've just already shed Penny with this. And I got off almost all of the hair. Oh, I don't think I was filming. You guys, these things are so good. I already shed her for so long. And now this thing, and I'm not even pushing hard. And it's just taking it all off. I, I said it was bad before, but I think it's because we put it on like a horse that wasn't shedding yet. Look at that. I shed her <laughs> completely. All right, I was wrong. These things are fantastic. Good, now you don't have to use my thing. Yeah, this is amazing. Holy moly. You can brush your horse. All right, we are done in the barn today. I used the laser. I use it on Penny. I don't use it on Chino's feet because holding up his feet are just way too hard. But I've been using it. I'm loving it. Also, I love that the rain, even though the rain is here and it's been like so many days and I'm so tired of it, I love that it's been allowing us to be in the barn to do the things that we have to do. And it's the, see the sun coming it's out now. It's actually nice. Yeah, I'm down here without a coat. We still have our horse's rain sheets on because like I said, the field, oh my gosh. Our barn that we ride at, that Gabby rides at, literally sent him a like, post on Facebook saying, don't come if you don't have boots because the field with all the rain is just so bad. Like it's bad everywhere. Um, I was able to teach the girls how to check and see if their horse's pole is out. I didn't video it. Uh, I, I didn't, I didn't. Sophie didn't really feel anything. That's because I Gabby picked it up. Gabby picked it up so fast. And because it was easy, it's easy. No it's not. Uh oh, I left soup on, on the stove and nobody's home. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?